Welcome back everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1991 Toyota Chaser GT former twin turbo as it now has a 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine that produces 1,270 horsepower and 901 pounds feet of torque. The car itself now weighs 3,027 pounds, has all wheel drive and it can only 0 to 16 2.588 seconds and 0 to 104.825 seconds. So, yeah, the engine in this has obviously been swapped into it. It's very similar to the standard engine though, as it is an inline six. It's not 100 miles off in terms of the cubic capacity. It's only about 900 cc's more, but obviously it does produce more than a thousand extra, more well, nearly a thousand extra horsepower. So, um, yeah, certainly going to make a difference in terms of its overall top speed. But how fast it will actually be will be interesting to see. Hopefully, it can beat the Mitsubishi from the previous episode, which only managed 263, which is decent for a car like that. And it was the first Mitsubishi that we've had but yeah hopefully we can do a, a go downside faster than that with this car so as far as other Toyotas go we've had the likes of the GRS the standard Super RZ which managed 280 miles an hour the Camry TRD which managed 276 the Celica SSI which managed 275 the MR2 GT which managed 274 the Sarah managed 271, uh, and the Formula Drift Toyota Super Mark 4 managed 270. So, yeah, six of the nine that we've taken out on this series so far have managed to get 270 or more. So, hopefully, this can join them. But nonetheless, let's get out there and see what this car can do. So yeah, definitely faster than the standard car, as to be expected. can handle all this extra speed though and um, power. Yeah, only had 276 horsepower originally so yeah massive amount of increase in power. There's 245 already, 250, 255 Beating the Mitsubishi because we've already gotten to 264, so yeah, not going to be as slow as that car, thankfully. Oh dear. Oh, we're losing it slightly. Quickly gaining speed again. So we're coming on down to the downhill section now, where this will oh, inevitably gain speed because gravity is. It's going to help, but I'm more interested in what the car itself can do. So, yeah, the S269. Oh dear. It went on the dirt and that dragged us over into the fences. So we're dropping speed off now. Flattened out. So, S267. Are we going to hold that? Yep, 267, so that's not as quick as some Toyotas that we've had on this series. It's the fourth one now to fail to get to 270, but still more that have achieved that goal than haven't. And it is at least 4 mile an hour quicker than the Mitsubishi from the previous episode, which is still pretty good on the whole, to be honest. And uh, yeah, 267 mile an hour means that we are able to match the Citroen BX Force TC, McLaren Artura, the Hot Wheels Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Custom, the 1970 Fast and Furious Dodge Charger, the Eagle Speedster, the Porsche 911 Sport Classic, we matched the Toyota GR Supra, so we were able to match a much more modern Toyota, and we beat the 1967 Shelby GT500, a Porsche 911 GT3, a Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat, ATS GT, and a Lamborghini Aspada. But yeah, we are generally quicker than a lot of other cars that are quite older. There's very few modern cars that we're actually faster than. But still, that is on the whole pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's only one mile an hour behind the Formula Drift number 151 Toyota GR Supra, based on the car that we've matched. So um, yeah, not too bad in that regard. And we're only one mile an hour off the pretty fast vehicle, the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, and the Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray, which are two mile an hour behind. So. On the whole, fairly good, and it handled the power and extra speed extremely well. Only real issues was my driving, more than anything. So, uh, yeah, the car itself is able to handle all this extra power. 
while also getting up to a reasonable top speed, a top speed that is more than enough for most tracks or roads on this game. So um, yeah, on the whole, fairly impressive. Like I said in my review of this car, you can still get it for uh, 20 points on the current festival playlist. Well worth getting, it's a fantastic vehicle, easily one of my favourites to be added via that uh, means. And uh, yeah, highly recommend getting it. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.